yo, yo, with your boy Black OG. <clears throat> Just chilling, doing my thing. Uh, about to drop another Red Pill video or MGTOW video. And I think you'll find this one very interesting. So you might want to pay attention to like fas facial expressions or body language. <clears throat> This one's about two porn stars, basically. So let's go. I'm Joey White. I'm Sammy White. We're 20 years old. And these two are supposed to be twin porn stars, actually. And they kind of do look alike. But, uh... It's not like they're, like, models or anything. They're not, like... Eights, nines, or tens. These these chicks are like sixes, in my opinion. But whatever. Golden Girl from Florida. Um, around March. I have just basic jobs like fast food or you know, like retail. So basically, they were working a regular basic job, and the chick with the black tank top basically forced or convinced her sister to join and do porn with her. I like the method. <laughs> um, we get to travel and meet a whole bunch of new people. Yeah, go figure. Get to travel. Um, you make basically bank. Well, depending how you spend it. <clears throat> and I don't know if the traveling is free or paid for or they have to use their own money. But regardless... And then she said, they said they like meeting new people. <laughs> I just realized her face. Oh my God. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> um, shit, I lost my, lost my thought process. Oh yeah, she likes meeting new dudes. So basically, she likes doing them monkey double back whoops on different chads and different Tyrones on the porn set. So, what isn't there to like about porn aside from internet exposure and uh, pe people close to you finding out potentially a loved one, <clears throat> like a boyfriend or a fiance or hun or husband, that would be something that would definitely ruin your marriage. But, uh, yeah, anyway, let's keep going. It's not always, like, the most comfortable thing. Yeah, sometimes there's, like, just some people you clash with, and you just have to work with it. You know, like, they're like, dates that you don't want to run, meeting people you don't want to So, they date, or not date, they basically work with people, men or women, that they really don't like dealing with or talking to, um, but at the same time, those same people that they don't like dealing with, um, they're getting naked. Uh, for them, for the video shoot, or for a photo shoot, so that's kind of funny and degrading when you really think about it, but um, I'm not the one who forced these chicks to freaking do porn, so why should I feel sorry, right, even though they're clearly destroying their lives, by doing this, but it's mostly, um, this girl, who
who's destroying her life because she's the one who actually wants to do porn and you'll find that out soon. I'm still not even completely used to it, honestly. It, it was like nerve wracking. I was like, oh, this is gonna be cut out for everybody seeing it as we just are perfect. We just, we don't know what to do like, by ourselves too much yet. We kind of have to have the direction. <laughs> I wonder where their father figure is, to be honest. Um, I think they said something about family earlier, or maybe I missed it, but. I wonder if uh, they grew up in a single mother household or something. Because if they grew up in a single mother household, most definitely, um, most that's most definitely a reason why they're doing porn. It's probably better. <laughs> I mean, other than like they stop and they tell you what to do next, how many positions you need to do for how many minutes. Yeah. Um, I probably wouldn't want to have had a boyfriend. I probably wouldn't want to have sex with him. Yeah, because you're getting pounded out in your vagina, in your mouth, uh, in your ass. By big eight inches, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, all sizes basically. So imagine yourself as a basically my age, a twenty-two year old guy trying to get with or trying to just smash or or date a chick like this, and just imagine what the sex would be like. It would basically be nothing because when she goes to work, she's already using all of her energy, getting pounded out by different men. And then as soon as she comes home, uh, she basically gives you the beta male, the the monkey simp, um, that starfish sex. And for you beta guys out there, you're lucky to even get sex. Shoot. Just guys, I do it. Hold on a second. Yeah. Um, I probably wouldn't want to have had a boyfriend. I probably wouldn't want to have sex with him just because I do it for my job. I mean, look how quiet she is when uh, this question is asked, basically. Like, I think she just said, yeah, and that's it. And then she shamefully puts her head down. Like, you can tell that she want, she doesn't really, truly want to do porn. But her bigger or younger sister, the one with the black t-shirt, um, she wanted to do this, she loves doing it, it's just she's nervous, so basically you've got a situation where one sister is fucking up the other sister's life and chance at happiness, but you know what they say, misery loves company, it's very dis depressing, but it is what it is, I guess. See that she's like nothing but heads down, shy puppy, sad puppy, disappointed, uh, disgusted maybe. Plus, she had that thousand mile cock stare a second ago. But let's keep going. Yeah. 
So once again, imagine yourself as a a young guy, very little sexual experience you're getting, uh, and you're trying to date or have sex with a girl, one of these girls, and like I said, you're basically have no experience or you've only been with like one or two chicks. Um, that woman is not going to be pleasured by you at all. Um, she might even leave you if you guys are in a relationship slash marriage because all that pounding she's been taken from multiple different guys. Uh, it's just like made her numb. So that's the problem with women having sex especially with multiple different guys and yeah it just completely destroys them mentally spiritually and uh internally but uh yeah The way that she taught us being the first girl actress in all of our scenes so far, like she's definitely one of those people we look up to. Yeah. I want to say I was like one of these little girls that would always like be so curious as to what was online, and I probably found it when I was like in the study camp or something. Yeah. Um, well, there's just like sometimes magazines laying around the house that like my parents would get in the mail, and I was just like through them, so I just started reading magazines and, like, books and, like, stuff like that. <laughs> that face, though. Did anybody else see that, or is am I just seeing shit? She was probably thinking about to her sister, like, you dumb I bitch. I was just laying through them, so I just started reading magazines and, like, books and, like, stuff like that. I just saw the little head shake, and then I'm like, hmm, all right then. Well, I miss that, I miss that. How long after you saw porn did you have your friend? Like a couple years. A couple years. So it's likely they lost their virginity at a... 17, 18, or 19, like a lot of females these days, shoot, a lot of females be uh, losing it, even at younger ages, and then they turn 30, 35, 40, and they can't find anybody. Pretty good. Um, our social media has already kind of blew up since we've been in LA, just so. I can imagine with all the beta males, the thirsty guys, the guys who haven't even had sex, the sexually frustrated guys, the guys I just want anything, the no moral guys. Yeah, most definitely your <laughs> your uh, thing will blow up. said because they're betas and that's not the type of dudes these chicks want they want the alpha super omega giga chad or tyrone they don't want these guys these incels these guys who depend on women respect women <laughs> you kidding me if they did they'd already be married those are facts. Would maybe you decide to start working in adult together? Uh, I just saw like maybe more the benefit of having a twin sister. I think more people would be attracted to like watching it or 
just looking at us. And she got me into all of this, like, and she's always been my side person, like, my go-to. I don't know, so I think it's good. And there she goes. She admitted it. Uh, her sister, I can't tell older or younger or not, to be honest. But this one got this one into porn. For now, just wait until you're 30, 35, 45. Well, but just having them there makes it more comfortable. I like Post Malone. <laughs> just music like that. I probably just want to get like more into the industry if I could. It's not bad. <laughs> and there it is, boys. Two sisters, both twins, and they both have different mindsets. One didn't even want to get into an industry that would ruin her forever. And the other, she's she's down DTF. And she's willing to deal with the smile on her face. So, yeah. Like I said, unfortunately, whether she knows it or not, she's ruined her sister's future. But let's also be honest. Homegirl wanted to go to college, and we all know what happens in college. The girls, they get smashed left. They, they go through guys left and right, and... Basically, they just let tens and hundreds of dudes run a train on them. But the difference is, no one knows about it. There is, I can't look up the hub and just find her with these dudes compared to this one. I just want to get, like, more into the industry, if I could. It's not bad. <laughs> oh, gosh. Just look at their faces and just look at the body language, man. It's like when you really take the red pill or MGTOW or whatever, you can just see all of it. But, uh, yeah. This is an interesting video, and I thought you guys would find it very interesting as well. So, see you in the next one. Hopefully you like it, and if you want to continue seeing me do videos more often, feel free to donate. If not, that's perfectly fine. Peace out, my homies.